coming up. Uh, is uh, is this really a ghost caught on camera? Is it getting colder in here? Uh, it yes. is. Could be. Shut that window. Uh, we'll take a closer look when we come back. <laughs> it is getting colder in here. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, it has been 450 years since Henry VIII was last seen walking the corridors of Hampton Court Palace. But could it be that Henry has returned to his old stamping ground? Take a look at this. He looks thinner than I remember him. <laughs> with, with us now... Uh, Sceptic Professor Christopher French, who thinks the ghost is a fake, and author Richard Jones, who believes it could be real. First of all, um, Richard, we've had a bit of a laugh at this throughout the I've morning. I've noticed. Has to be said. Um, now, that you say you reckon there are about 30 ghosts in Hampton Court? There's around about 30 ghosts uh, bristling away behind the fabric of Hampton Court Palace. So what do the staff say about this piece of footage? The staff story is that it happened last October, that uh, on successive days the fire doors came open, security went to investigate, and there was nothing there. And then on one occasion, they replayed the CCTV and they saw this image coming towards the doors and uh, fumbling with the doors there. Now those, those fire doors haven't always been there because Hampton Court Palace is extremely old and there wouldn't have been fire doors. So did they know what was there beforehand? Uh, probably just a brick wall. I mean health and safety wasn't very big on Henry VIII's agenda, uh, right. I should say. <laughs> but uh, pro probably just a brick wall or a doorway could have been there. So, so, so what is your explanation for that? What do you think? Uh, well. It's interesting, I'll, I'll say that. Uh, to me, it doesn't look like Tudor. If you actually look at the costume, that is more sort of the, the uh, restoration period, if you look at the long wig, uh, the long robe. Hampton Court insists that none of their costume guides has a costume like that, and that none of their costume guides were in the vicinity at the time. They also say that round about that time as well, several Australian tourists noted in the visitor's book that they had seen a figure in roughly that location as well. But what's difficult for us to sort of come to terms with is the fact that this ghost is very accurate accurately op opening and closing fire doors. So if it's from someone from the sort of restoration period, you know, someone like Christopher Wren, you've suggested, you know, that sort of thing, how on earth would they know how to, how to op accurately open and close fire doors, which they would sort of never have come across before? And why would they open and close fire doors when a ghost can go straight through? Interesting. A bit of uh, skilled retraining, perhaps. Uh, ah. Ghost retraining. So you can retrain a ghost. You never know. So you, see, you can make anything fit if you wanted to, you see. So now we come to Professor Chris French, who's made his life times work uh, being a skeptic and investigating paranormal thoughts and activities and all that sort of thing so what do you make of that what do you really <coughs> think is happening there well i mean given that as you say it doesn't really seem to behave in the way that we traditionally expect the ghosts to behave and if you go through doors i was always led to believe and it doesn't really look much like a ghost it kind of just raises the possibility it might just be a person but you see, if it was um, Christopher Wren, he'd be interested in the in the science <laughs> of it and the technology. Well, he'd be nice. thinking, oh, do you know, I tell you what, I wish I'd put these right. in St. Paul's. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. The fascination of it. Yes, so you he's, see. He's, he's from beyond the grave. There's nothing that says curious. that you lose your willingness to learn, is there? And create. And create, yes. Mm. But, I mean, in years to come, when somebody comes and says, actually, that was me and I did that, I mean, has it been scientifically looked at and the tape been tampered with? I mean, have, there, have people really closely examined this piece of footage? As far as I know, it hasn't been closely examined. Mm. Uh, I, I, I stand to be corrected on that one, but mm. as far as I, I know, it hasn't stood to a close scrutinisation of the tape. Have you ever seen a ghost? I've never seen a ghost, and it's very rare that people do see ghosts. Uh, to actually say, I've seen a ghost, when you talk to people, they haven't seen them, they've experienced a ghost, they've mm. sensed a ghost, as with a few of the people there, they've, they've heard a ghost. I'm guessing that cold air coming through. That's the air conditioning. No, but it's <laughs> never cold in this bit. No, you not it's new air conditioning. <laughs> and the, and and, the, and the, um, the, the, the problem with it is the fact that it, it's terribly hard to scientifically find proof. Well, that's right. I mean, but there has been some really interesting research done at Hampton Court by uh, Richard Wiseman. I mean, he's actually got people in groups going through and just reporting whether they felt any of these kind of strange sensations mm -hmm. that, that Richard's talking about. So it's perfectly possible. Well, I mean, the interesting thing is, what we've got at the end of the day is, yes, people have strange sensations, they have a sense of presence, they get a kind of chill down the back of their neck and so it's on. It's getting but cold. <laughs> I mean, are, are your ankles <laughs> getting cold? This Can is the power of suggestion, you see. It begins. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Thank you both very much. But the question is, yeah, is it old up here or is there anything out there? No, it's cold down here. <laughs> <laughs> just before we go, if your name is Julie West and you live in Grimsby, then... Boo! <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations.
<laughs> You've won over £6,000 to pay off your Christmas debt. Very <laughs> good. Now then, on tomorrow's show, showbiz all the way. Uh, Tom Cruise, Jason Donovan, Linda Barker and James Nesbitt. And Eric Knowles as well. So we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye-bye. <Bye> <laughs>